Tonight, reaction to President Biden's State of the Union address is still coming in. It was a lively affair last night, and this comes as no surprise. The reviews are split along party lines. CBS News reporter Nicole D'Antonio has the latest reaction from Capitol Hill. Mr. President! President Biden headed to Wisconsin this morning to speak with union workers and promote his economic agenda. Unemployment rate is at 3.4%, a 50-year low. The economy was also on his mind last night during his second State of the Union address. The president highlighted what he considers his achievements, but he received GOP heckling at levels never before seen when he suggested some Republicans had proposed cutting Medicare and Social Security. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. He is simply unfit to serve as commander-in-chief. Former Trump press secretary and newly installed Arkansas governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders delivered the Republican response. The Biden administration is doubling down on crazy. Last night's speech was one of the rowdiest State of the Union addresses in recent history, with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy actually shushing members of his own party at least four times. There is more, um, I would say, activity in the chamber probably than there used to be. But, you know, I think that's probably characterizes a little bit of the change in our politics. Vice President Kamala Harris believes the president did a good job of dealing with the many distractions. I think the president was in command and he was focused on the American people. There were some suggestions that President Biden used his address last night as a soft launch for a re-election bid. Vice President Harris says if that happens, she'll be running right alongside him. Nicole D'Antonio, WSA 9.